Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new video on the channel. As you know, I like to play Nurgle, but today we're not going to talk about Nurgle. We're going to talk about his allies, the Skaven. What better to spread disease than rats, right? Today we're going to take a look at the Vermin Lord Corruptor for Skaven. We're going to open the box and see every option you have inside. So, let's open it up. So, here we have the Vermin Lord Corruptor, and as you can see, it's a really nice model with lots of details. And uh, out of this single box, we can build one, just one, of five Skaven Vermin Lords. So, we're not gonna dive in into the rules, just gonna look at the options you have in this box, see the sprues and um, everything that comes in this box. I don't know if you guys want me to in the future start analyzing also the strengths of the units. If you'd like that, let me know. So, first sprue we have there. There are only two sprues. Okay. So, first sprue we have here. We can see a lot of detail with the furs on the legs, the claws, the little... This is like some made-up armor, I guess. Looks really dope. The, the tails, this big weapon, and of course some decorations for the base, I guess. Let me just try to focus. Okay, here, with the little mice in here. They look really cute. And uh, type of cloth. Well, the details look really flowing and amazing. This uh, unit, it's very dynamic for uh, such a large unit, so it's really cool. And the second sprue, it only comes with two sprues, so... Sorry about this. And okay, so here we have the weapons. Let me just check the focus. Okay, here we have the arms with the, the blades, piece of head. Here, some variation on the horns, uh, some kind of mask in here, uh, energy ball thingy, probably a weapon an arm filled with runes. This looks really cool, I don't know if you can see that nature. Okay. The runes in this arm looks really nice. And this armored hand with the claws looks really, really good. I don't know if you can see them. I guess so. So, the, about sprues, there are only two big sprues with everything you're gonna need with the options, and of course, the base. For my not so liking pleasure, the instructions are in black and white, which I don't like, but let's look at the options you have with units. So, you have five types of vermin lords. Let me just focus so you can see. The Lord Screech Vermin King, the Vermin Lord Wars Warp Seer, Vermin Lord Warbringer, Vermin Lord Deceiver and Vermin Lord Corruptor. Uh, this is one thing I really hate about um, these types of big units because Okay, you have a lot of options and variations, but depending if you're collecting this, not if you're playing, if you're playing, you already know what you need in your army, but if you're collecting this, you have to buy five boxes to have the entire Vermin Lord, all the Vermin Lords that you need, so it kind of bugs me out. Uh, in the, um, the Keeper of Secrets, they already, there were only two options, so eh, okay. The, um, the great and clean one, three options, so okay, not so bad, I guess, but five options. Mm. I think I draw my line at uh, three options, but it is what it is. And we keep on buying and having nice armies and painting great models, so 
the end of the day we can't complain much. So let's take a look at the instructions. This really hurts my eyes being in black and white, but... Okay, so the assembly. Uh, the first thing I noticed, all of them uh, have the long tail, so the body is the same for all of them. With the runic uh, chest piece. So that part will stay the same for every unit, as I can see. And then you can build the big horned rat for the Screech Vermin King. So what I'm seeing is that you change the arms and head to every every variation you have. So. This will probably allow you to magnetize and having the same figure for the five Vermin Lords. So it looks like it's possible, but the head looks really heavy, so it probably has to be some bigger magnet, I guess. But it looks possible. So again, as you can see, the um, even the arm it's always the same so you can keep the that arm and just change the um, the other arm and um, the head I guess yeah and they have all this long weapon at least for now in each and each of them I don't believe every single one will have this kind of weapon but at least at three of them have this variation. Okay, so here we come to another variation. So you can't really magnetize it. Well, at least for three of them, if you want to keep the, the first ones. But the deceiver has another weapon in the other arm. So I think you can still magnetize it, but it will be trick here. Okay, you can see here different sets of horns with the, the mask we saw and the deceiver with another type of weapon. And then the last one, the corruptor. And uh, here, okay, I really, this is the, my least favorite one. Uh, uh, at least by looks only, I don't know about rules, but by looks only, this is my least favorite one. Still looks cool, and I think this is the one that uh, comes in the, the box art. Yeah, so still looks cool, but if I'm going to build a, a lord, I want it to have those huge, impressive horns. So. To summarize all of what we saw in the instructions, you have five options. You don't have uh, much about uh, singular options about uh, customization, but the, um, you have a variety of options in the, um, the kind of lord you want to build. So, I think for the Screech Vermin King, the Warp Seer and the Warbringer, you can magnetize only the head and the right arm because they all keep the same long weapon but for the Deceiver and the Corruptor they have the um, that piece of terrain there with the little mice so it will be probably best if you Look at what you need in your army before assembling it or magnetize the hell out of it. So that's my advice to you if you're going to buy this box. All of them look amazing. The sprues look fantastic. They have ton of amazing details. But of course if you need to choose, be wary of what you choose. Because if you're going to build it in, not, in a not magnetizing way, you can only pick one out of these five lords. So, what did you think about this box? 
Let me know in the comments below which vermin lord you like the best. I hope you like this video, and if you do, why not give a like? And if you want to see more videos like this in the future, please subscribe to the channel. I am Sam from Sam's Geek Vault, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!